Hey crocheters! Today I'm going to show you how to do a triple bobble stitch. So this is something I've been using a lot on my chubby animal series and I've been using it to make the feet. So here I've got to show one at a time. So I've got like the chubby panda and uh, these are triple bobbles here for the feet. Um, and then the same thing on the chubby sheep. Um, these are normal bobbles for the, the fluffiness of the body. And then to differentiate the feet, they're a different color, but they're also a triple bobble, so they're larger. So same with like the tail. The tail is a triple bobble in white, so it's bigger than the rest. So um, this is, I mean, if you want to use it in a project where you didn't use a normal bobble, it's just going to be fluffier and bigger. Um, but I'm excited to show you guys this because it's, it's going to be used in a lot of my, my chubby animals and it's just a fun thing to use on projects. All right, so for the triple bobble, um, I am using a eight millimeter hook and a um, super bulky yarn. Um, and I've just got a little bit of crocheting here. So we've got something to crochet into to kind of showcase this stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to, like you're going to do a triple crochet, you're going to wrap the yarn around the hook twice, and you're going to insert it into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. So you have four loops on the hook, then you're gonna yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're gonna stop there. For a normal triple crochet, you'd yarn over one more time and pull through, but we're not going to do that. We're going to wrap the yarn around our hook twice, insert it into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Repeat it again. Wrap the, the yarn around the hook twice, insert into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And so we're, you're going to do that. I mean, you can do it honestly as many times as you want. I kind of like to have um, six is the fullness that um, I prefer. So for six, that means you're going to have seven loops on your hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need one more. We'll insert it into that very same stitch and it does get tight on that very last one. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then to finish it off, you're gonna yarn over it and you're gonna pull through all of them. So then here is um, a something that you, you need to know that it affects the shape. So you, uh, naturally, the bobble sticks toward the inside of the project and it needs to poke out for it to be correct. Um, so there are a couple of things that are different. So if you pop it out like this and then you crochet, sometimes you have to pull it to the side so you can see the next stitch because it's so big it kind of uh, folds over. But then if you crochet into the next stitch, like so, um, what it kind of does is it just, it changes the, the way that the bobble lays slightly. So this bobble is, it's a little bit like vertical to the project. Whereas, um, I'll make another one really quick. All right, so at this point where we've, we've pulled through, um, and so instead of popping the stitch out first, I'm going to single, cro I'm going to you know crochet into my next stitch first. And so then when you push it through, it is a little more challenging because it's tighter, but it tends to lay, um, I'll show an example here with, this project, this is a chubby cow. Let me zoom out so you can see a little better. So yeah, so this is a chubby cow. This is a rough draft. This is not a final draft. Um, <clears throat> anyhow, but you can see on like these, these three bobbles, the, the stitches kind of lay in line with the crocheting. And then this one is twisted. It kind of, 
is, is going vertical to the project rather than lying horizontally with it. And so that's what tends to happen, at least for me, when I, um, you know, when I do a, a triple bobble and that, like that first way where you, um, you know, where it, it's like this, you've popped out the center and then you, you know, you kind of bring it around like so to work into the next stitch. It, it gives it more of a, a vertical, you know, lay to it rather than, um, you know, rather than the second way I showed where it's, it's still on the inside, then you crochet here and then pull the bobble through. So it's, it is kind of a knit picky, um, detail, which if, if that's not something you care about, then it's like, you know, by all means, you know, just, just do whatever you feel comfortable with and whatever feels right. Um, but that is something that I try and do on my projects so that I don't have, you know, one foot that is ski wampus and the rest are laying naturally. I try and do them all the same. And I, I try to, um, crochet into the next stitch and then push the bobble out at the end. But that's how you do the triple bobble you know, can be used for feet on different projects. Like on this one, we've got just normal bobble stitches here and then triple bobble for the big feet at the bottom. So you can play around with that. Uh, I hope it was helpful and I hope you enjoy.